In this video, let us try to understand how to write HDC constraints. Here, HDC stands for Synopsis Design Constraints. So, first constraint that we are going to understand is clock definition. So, the constraint command is create underscore clock. So, first one clock definition. So, to define a clock, we need following four mandatory informations. So, we need to understand clock source, period, duty cycle, edge times. We need to know about these things. So coming to clock source, it can be a port of a design or it can be a pin of a cell inside the design. Typically that is part of clock generation logic. Next coming to period, the time period of the clock. So we know that suppose if this is a clock signal, let me take this as positive edge trigger. So the distance from here to here is called as time period. Next coming to duty cycle, it is nothing but the time period for which it is on divided by total time period. Means Within this time period, we have to take this on time period. So on time period by overall time period, that is it becomes T on by overall time period is nothing but T on plus T off. So this T on plus T off is simply called as time period. So that's what I've given here. So duty cycle on time period by overall time period into 100. So you need to remember this formula in order to calculate duty cycle. Clearly I have made a video on duty cycle. Please check my previous lectures. Next coming to edge times, the times for the rising edge and the falling edge. So suppose if I'm taking one positive edge here and another here, so edge times is nothing but, so this is 0 is called as rising, 10 is called as rising. Suppose if you take this as falling and then here falling edge will be 5, here falling edge will be 15. So simply rising edge is 0 and 10, falling edge is 5 and 15. First you need to know these basic terminology. Next coming to the command, create clock hyphen name, here hyphen indicates switch hyphen name is a switch hyphen period is one of the switch hyphen waveform is one of the switch so create clock hyphen name some name we have to give hyphen period some time period we have to give and hyphen waveform some rise time and fall time so as i told you here rising is zero falling is five like that and get ports so create clock command is used to define a clock object with a particular period and waveform the hyphen period option defines clock period while the hyphen waveform option controls the duty cycle and the starting edge of the clock. This command is applied to a pin or a port object types. So we have seen this one clock, name, period, waveform and ports. So coming to the syntax. So syntax from DC shell. This is called as design compiler which is from synopsis. So create clock hyphen help. If you type this you will get the usage of this particular command. So create clock hyphen name some clock name. So name of the clock you need to give hyphen period period value so the time period you have to mention here hyphen waveform edge list edge list means it is rising and falling you need to give here hyphen add suppose if there are multiple clocks then you have to use this hyphen add and hyphen command for giving comments and this is source objects now this is the syntax from genus which is from cadence similarly type as create underscore clock space hyphen help you will get the usage of that particular command so here hyphen add so it will tell whether the source to add or overwrite hyphen name for giving name hyphen comment to comment to be tagged with this command hyphen domain name of the clock domain for the clock hyphen period so clock period we have to give hyphen waveform and inverted so for a d flip flop we know that there will be two outputs called as q and q bar so if you want q bar then you can use this particular switch now let us understand that with an example first example so for create clock it defines the primary clock for the design with a specific period. So you can see this particular waveform here rising edge is at 0 and another rising edge is at 10. So we know that time period is nothing but distance between these two. So time period will be 10 nanoseconds. So time period will be 10 nanoseconds and on time period here is 5 and off time period is also 5. So let me write it here on time period is 5 nanoseconds and off time period is 5 nanoseconds. So total time period means T on plus T off which will become 10 nanoseconds so how to write for this one it is create clock hyphen name some name we have to give i'm giving it as clock hyphen period so our time period is 10 nanoseconds so give here as 10 and hyphen waveform this first one indicates rising edge this one indicates falling edge so here 0 is rising and 5 is falling so given that one and get ports clock now to calculate duty cycle simply use the formula t on by t on plus t off so on time period is 5 and overall time period t on plus t off is called as overall time period this is overall time period so i'm giving it as 10 nanoseconds 
So if you do this, you'll get 0 0.50 and in terms of percentage, it will become 50%. So here duty cycle for this particular waveform is 50%. Now let us see one more example. So example two, this is a clock waveform. Here, this is called as rising edge. This is called as rising edge. So the distance between these two from here to here, it is 40 nanoseconds. So here time period is 40 nanoseconds. So let me write it here. So time period is 40 nanoseconds and on time period T on is 20 nanoseconds and T off is 20 nanoseconds. Simply you can consider from here to here as T off and wherever it is high it is called as T on. Now with this basic information let us try to write the constraint. So create clock hyphen name name I'm giving it as clock hyphen period. So here total time period is 40 nanoseconds. So I'm giving it as 40 and hyphen waveform. Here you have to give rising edge. Here you have to give falling edge. So here rising edge is 0 and falling edge is at 20 nanoseconds. So here it will be falling edge. So that's why I'm writing here as 0 20 and get ports clock. This is a constraint that you need to write for this particular waveform and coming to duty cycle calculate it by using the formula on time period by overall time period. So here we know that on time period is 20 nanosecond and overall time period is 40 nanosecond. If you calculate this, you'll get 50% duty cycle. Now coming to example three, this is a waveform. Here time period is 20 nanosecond, on time period is 10 and off time period is also 10. Now how to write the constraint for this? It is create clock, hyphen name clock, hyphen period. So time period is 20 nanosecond and hyphen waveform rising edge and falling edge. So rising edge is at zero nanosecond and falling edge is at 10 nanosecond. So that's why you need to write here as 0, 10. Get ports, clock. If you want duty cycle, use the formula on time period by overall time period. So here on time period is 10 and total time period is 20. So if you calculate this, you'll get duty cycle as 50%. Now let us see example number four. If you want, you can try it in the opposite manner also. First, make a note of this particular constraint and for this particular constraint, you try to draw the waveform. So here create clock hyphen name test underscore clock. So the name given here is test underscore clock and hyphen period is 20 nanosecond. So from one rising edge to another rising edge time period should be 20 nanosecond and it should rise at 10 and it should fall at 20. So it should rise at 10 and it should fall at 20 nanosecond and this will repeat and get ports clock underscore PL. So if you experiment in both the cases you will be clear with how to write constraint for create underscore clock. First make a note of this constraint then try to draw the waveform. If not make a note of this particular waveform and try to write the constraint. So if you try like this for multiple examples then you will become perfect with this constraint. So here coming to duty cycle on time period. So on time period is 10 nanosecond and overall time period is 20. So 10 divided by 20 will give 50% duty cycle. Coming to example number 5. So this is the waveform. Here rising edge is at 5 and falling edge is at 12 nanosecond and the distance from one rising edge to another rising edge is 15. So time period is 15 nanosecond. So for this create clock hyphen name test underscore clock hyphen period. So here time period is 15 nanosecond and hyphen waveform 5 is called as rising edge 12 is called as falling edge. So 5 is rising and 12 is falling and get ports clock underscore PLL. So duty cycle on time period by overall time period. So on time period here is 7 nanosecond divided by 15 will give 0 0.466 which is 46.6 percent. So this is a duty cycle. Now coming to example number 6. This is a bit different compared to the previous examples that we have seen. Here if you see create clock hyphen name test and underscore clock and hyphen period is 20. Hyphen waveform is 0 5 10 15 and get ports clock PLL. So here 0 indicates rising, 5 indicates falling, 10 indicates rising, 15 indicates falling. So I have taken the same. 0 is rising and 5 is falling, 10 is rising, 15 is falling and it continues. But here the time period should be 20 nanoseconds means from 0 it should be 20 nanoseconds. So this will be the time period and this is a waveform for this particular constraint. So coming to the duty cycle it is on time period by overall time period. Here the tricky part is within this complete time period of 20 nanoseconds take the places where it is high. So it is high at two positions that is for uh, one between 0 to 5 nanoseconds it is high and again from 10 to 15 it is high. So you can take 5 plus 5 as on time period divided by overall time period will be 20. 
so that's why here 5 plus 5 divided by overall time period will give 50 percent duty cycle so simply remember this point within the complete time period take the places where it is high now let us see example number seven you can do it in vice versa either note down the constraint and try to draw the waveform if not by seeing the waveform you try to write the constraint for practice purpose only so here if you see create log hyphen period 1.2 so here time period is 1.2 and hyphen waveform 0.3 is rise 0.4 is fall 0.8 is rise 1.0 is fall so that's what i have taken here 0.3 is rising 0.4 falling 0.8 rising 1.08 is falling and on time period from 0.3 to 4 is 0.1 and on time period from 0.8 to 1.0 is 0.2 so that's what i have mentioned here 0.1 and 0.2 and remember this point overall time period should be 1.2 means suppose if you are starting at 0.3 simply 0.3 plus 1.2 this will be 1.5 so that's what i have taken here from this point to this point time period is 1.2 if you are starting at 0, simply 0 plus 1.2 will give 1.2. So simply 0 plus 1.2 will be 1.2. That's why here I have taken as 1.2. So 0 to 1.2 is one time period. So from 0 to 1.2 is time period. If not, if you are starting at 0 0.3, it will be from 0 0.3 to 1.5. Both the cases, I have indicated it clearly so that you won't get confused. Now let us see about duty cycle. It is on time period by overall time period. So take the places from the complete time period so from here to here it is on in this position and this position so it is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 will be the on time period so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 divided by overall time period is 1.2 so if you divide you will get 25 percent as the duty cycle so here waveform shape will be different if it is 25 percent if it is 50 percent if it is 75 percent remember this point the same example i have indicated with waveform starting at zero so that it will be clear so thank you in this video we have understood how to write constraint for a clock. Thank you.